and get a 20 minutes, you know, you know, injection shot and I'm gonna be good for the week because it's not gonna work that way. It's something that each and every one of you gotta pursue on your own time as well, right? And then that's not just how you're gonna perform better the job, but it's also gonna pour into other parts of your life, right? Your relationships with your family, your you know spouses, kids, uh, not just career and business, but your finance, everything. It's all tied in to one. And that's why we talk about the wheel of success because it's all one thing. One spoke can't be broken and expect to have a great running team, <coughs> right? You need everything running and, and running at its optimal. So, one of the things I noticed is a huge weakness for a lot of younger guys. It's acts of intensity versus acts of consistency. Now, mm. what do you think this means? Chris, what do you think this means? I'm not too sure to be honest. I like it, I like the honesty, that should be. An active intensity would be like, I want to go get fit, and I'm going to go to the gym for eight hours today, but I'm only going to do it one time this year. Intense. Now you're shaking your head, Abdi, because here's the reality of it. Some of us show up to this job, we get super fired up, you go have a killer Friday, okay, or go have a killer Thursday, and you popped off three or four, so you take the day off. We can all agree, if you want to get fit, if you want to lose weight, if you want to get shredded, you can't do that, right? It's day in, it's day out, six days a week minimum, right? Mm -hmm. And you, they say you need one rest day, right? One rest day a week. Yep. But you're going day after day after day after day after day after day, rest one, do it again, recycle, repeat, <coughs> okay? So that's an active intensity. Oh, I'm gonna go hard today. Well, what about tomorrow? The reality of it is anything you wanna have crazy success in, not just at the gym, losing weight or getting shredded, right? Like CJ shows up every single day, even when the gym when we were in Vegas was two hours away. At first, I thought that was a joke. I was like, there's no way this fool is driving two hours to go to the gym. And then like I hit him up and said, no, no, I'm on my way back. I was like, wait, is it really? He's like, yeah, it's like an hour and 45. I was like, you really drive an hour and 45 minutes each way to go to the gym? This is when we're in Vegas. But why? It's because of this. Acts of consistency will always trump acts of intensity. You gotta show up every day. The reason why you see some of the top killers on the board here, it's they're putting up numbers every day. Ian will come out, yeah, and he'll maybe put a four or five or six spot up on the board, but the reality of it is you can guarantee every day Ian's showing up on the board, yes or no? Yes. Every day Brett's showing up on the board, yes or no, when he's here, right? The guys that are putting up big numbers, right? When Nolan was selling alarms, I don't even know if there was a day he ever bageled last year. I don't even know. Did you even have one bagel last year? Had one. One. <laughs> <laughs> one across the whole entire summer. And that day probably haunts him. Here's the reality of it. It's being consistent. You want to be great at anything in life, you got to be consistent. You got to show up every day. It's not about just today. I'm going to be fired up. I'm going to be motivated today. No. F that. You need to be fired up every day. You need to perform every day. How you do one thing is how you do everything. And how you do one thing today is how you're going to do it tomorrow and the next. And you want to be great? The greats do it day in day out. Because day out. you can't get fit just going to the gym once and saying, I'm going to go do this for eight hours today and now I'm going to take the rest of the month off. It's just never going to work that way. Okay? How many of y'all seen this picture? Okay, I want you to raise your hand if you see this as black and blue. I want you to raise your hand if you see this as white and gold. Okay, I want everybody to look around. Look around. Look around. If you see black and blue, raise your hand. If you see white and gold, raise your hand. Let's go! Okay. What does this show us? Hold on. Wait, what? Follow me, follow me here for a second. Follow me. There's a reason for all this. 
and I want you to follow along for me for a second. Y'all have seen this before, right? This hit the internet, it went viral. People are very, it, I was sitting around the fireplace with Nolan and Ian and AJ last weekend, and we were looking at this picture, and most of us saw, most of us saw black and blue. My wife saw white and gold, and I would not have believed, I would not have believed that anybody could see white and gold if it wasn't my wife staring straight at me saying, you're tripping, this is white and gold. <laughs> and I'm like, looking at her, I'm like, you really see white and gold? And I'm like, holy shit, it's like, and I was having a mind-blowing moment for a second, and I just, and I went home and I thought about this for hours. I was like, okay, she really sees white and gold here. I really see black and blue here. We're gonna come back to this. <laughs> this is important. Okay, this is very important. Because what you believe is what you attract. Mm, yep. And who you are being is what you attract. What you are thinking is what you attract. And what you are feeling is what you attract. Okay, so what does this mean? Who am I being? What am I thinking? How am I feeling? Right? We talked about it last week, right? Is that we self-fulfill what we look at ourselves as. Mm -hmm. Right? Ultimately, what does that mean? We attract what we are. <clears throat> now, some of us think this. If I do these certain things, these actions and behaviors, I'm going to get this outcome and results, right? So if I work really hard, I'm going to make money, and then I'm going to be happy and positive. Because there's sometimes people say, well, it's easy for CJ to be happy and positive because he's rich. <laughs> he's got a happy marriage, right? He's got everything. He's got all his goals aligned, you know? He could be an Abercrombie model, of course. <laughs> so it's easy to look at this and be like, hey, if, 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 I, if I work hard, I'm gonna start having success, I'm gonna start making money, now I'm gonna be happy, now I'm gonna be positive, now I'm gonna be so and so and so, right? This is how we all look at life. That's wrong. That's not true. Let me show you how it really breaks out. Who you are plus, so your mindset, embody the state of being that you imagine that will come from when you achieve your goals. So if you're happy, you're positive, you are a good person, you're doing everything right, now your actions are aligned, you're doing the things and taking action while being in that state of being, those this plus this will then get you what you want. Mm. So what you're putting out there, guys, your confidence, your positivity, you either repel or you retract, or uh, you repel or you attract people around you. Not just your friends and family, but even when you're on the doors. And there's people who either look out the window and say, I want to open the door and talk to him, or they're going to look out the window and just walk away. Or they're going to open the window or the door and say something to you and you're going to either repel them. And a lot of it, it's unintentional what we're doing, but at the end of the day, you have to realize it starts with who you are. Because you're attracting this whether you know it or not. And you're either bringing people in or you're repelling people. But we got to do this right, not just this. We all got to work hard. You all got to work hard. But if you work hard and you're not doing this right, you're not going to get the results you want. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because this is, unfortunately, this is how we all look at this and we're like, man, I'll do that. I'll be this when I get this. But it doesn't work like that. You, you won't get that unless it starts with you at the beginning. Right. How many of you guys are following what I'm saying here? <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to this picture. Why does this pertain? Because it's your belief system. 
And right now, some of you guys believe this is white and gold, and some of you guys believe it's blue and black. I stared at this for probably a couple hours until I see both. I can see white and gold, and I can see black and blue. I couldn't see white and gold because I, I had not until I stepped out of my own self was I like, okay, get out of thinking and being convincing yourself it's black and blue. Get out of your own mind, Val, and see what does someone see that's white and gold. So you see white and gold. I can see both. There's there are people that dress. gold dress is that a black and gold. No. Well, God, God, I promise you, if you go home tonight and you stare at this long enough. Look at it at different angles. Stop convincing yourself it's black and blue, and just open your mind. You'll see both. It's a white and blue. Then open, then open your mind. Step out of sight. Stop convincing yourself. It's black. Here's, here's how this pertains to your life. Here's how this pertains to your life right now. Your belief is your reality. Your beliefs are reality. So whatever you think right now about you, about the job, whether you're good or not, that's your reality. And you're gonna go create that anyway. You think that dress is black and blue, that's your reality. No one can convince you. I can't convince you right now until you change your reality. But you're, you believe, whatever you believe about this job, about how you are, about your success, about what you're getting in life, about your relationships, that's all about based on your beliefs. Your belief may not be real though. Mm. Because to me, when I was only seeing black and blue, I was like, there's no way someone sees white and gold. Until I had to step out of my own self and then now I can see both. But your belief can be changed. Yep. So what does this mean? If your belief can be changed, your beliefs are reality, that means change your belief and therefore change your reality. <laughs> Change your belief about you going out and selling or not. If you're selling and you're bageling right now, but you really go out and you believe, you track what you are, you're positive, you do the hours, you do everything right, you change your belief, you can then start selling. People just don't believe. Mm -hmm. But you can change that. I promise you, you can change that. Just like when you look at this dress long enough tonight, I promise you. It's already changed. Can you see both? Yes. It just right now. I promise you. It, it took me some time. It took me some time. But I wanted to prove it to you that people get sold on whatever they sell themselves on. You will sell yourself. Your mind is so powerful. Whatever your first impression is about somebody, about how you are at the job, you will continually sell yourself about whether you think you're good or not. Let's say you're, you're shitty at closing. You will sell yourself that I'm a shitty closer, which is why you will continue to be a shitty closer. You've already sold your, your belief system is telling you you're a shitty closer. Which is why now you walk into a situation to close and you can't close. You are a handicap to close because you don't even believe you can close. Your beliefs are reality. Your belief might not be real. Your belief can change. And if it can change, that means change your beliefs. You will change your reality. Let's go.